Hello everybody, a uh, very good day to all of you. Welcome to our most uh, prestigious institution Lyceum for lively and scholarly debate on democracy. The word democracy means many things to many people around the world. Even the most autocratic regime, the most authoritarian regime or state has its own version of democracy. But it doesn't necessarily mean democracy as it should be. So the motion, the content, the agenda for this debate is democracy is not always the right and appropriate form of government. I'm going for the motion uh, for him as been on the left national debater in Bangladesh studying CSC, campus ambassador English Olympiad and against the motion uh, Salwa Mehrin on the right school level national debater, artist and Nangit student of JCPAC and also working in Lyceum. Uh, now the opening statement, uh, speaking first uh, for the motion, uh, Faria Mehazibin, uh, please uh, welcome. The famous quote from the former Prime Minister Winston Churchill says, quote, democracy is the worst form of government except all the others that have been tried. But what exactly wrong with democracy and why? Let's find out. We know democracy is a majority rule. So in parliament or referendum, every decision is taken by majority votes. Even if only by a majority of 50% plus 1, the winner wins everything and the loser gets nothing. The majority voting is one of the most inaccurate measures of collective opinion. The democracy is not universally applicable or appropriate in all countries regardless of history, culture or circumstances. Uh, the level of uh, economic development of a country is a critical issue. Not a single Western was democracy at the time of its economic takeoff. The developing countries uh, have, have to face different circumstances to those that faces the West in the 19th century. Thank you. Uh, for your thank you very much indeed. Uh, now let's go to the uh, second speaker who is against the motion. Uh, Salwa Mehrin, please uh, welcome. Well, thanks for giving me the floor. You see, the concept of democracy is broad and diverse. Democracy is a political system where the supreme power lies in the hands of the citizens and they can elect people who represent them. The key features of democracy are right to vote, right to equality, freedom of speech and assembly, freedom of religion, respect for the rules of law, a multi-party political system and democratic governance, citizens' participations and political tolerance. Well, the democracy implies respect to different types of views and uses of dialogues as a means to resolve conflicts. Thank you. Uh, Salwa, thank you very much indeed. Uh, now the first speaker, Faria Mehzib, will give her uh, final speech uh, for the motion. Uh, sadly, in some countries, people do not exercise their right to vote. Many are reluctant to vote or less aware about the impact that votes can have. They do not consider it is their privilege and take the process of voting less seriously. The representatives may not necessarily be elected on that merit in this system of voting. There is no distinction between the votes cast by the literate and the illiterate. People may favor someone based on the factors rather than the pure capability. Money and muscle power are used to influence the voters. So the benefits of democracy is relative. It depends on who you are, where you are from in the global system and how wealthy your country compared to others, etc. So my final point is the Western style democracy is not always right and appropriate system for all the developing countries. Thank you. Uh, Faria, thank you very much indeed. Uh, now the final speech uh, against the motion. Uh, Salwa Mehrin, please welcome. Well, the US government is not popular. That doesn't mean that the democracy is not popular in America. Actually, the people want to return to democracy in America. The democracy is the most successful political idea in the world. It allows the ordinary people to a decisive say and the people who govern the country and how they govern it. In democracy, the active political opposition party, they debate and monitor and the work is done by the ruling party. And the successful democracy needs active citizens who can uh, monitor the performance of the government and they can also mobilize the other ordinary people and other important issues. So all of us can help to shape the successful democracy. Thank you. 
uh, in fine you can say that democracy is eventually the best form of government thanks for watching